everybody, welcome to my channel. My name's Mel. Thank you so much for joining me today for a booktuber recommendations video. So in today's video I am going to be recommending books to other booktubers. This is an idea that I have seen a few different booktubers do in the past and I thought it seemed like a really fun idea. I've actually done this video or a version of this video a while ago, I think about six months ago. I will put it in the description below and in the eye up above so you can go and check that out as well. In that video I recommended eight books to eight different booktubers and I also said that if anyone would like to be included in a future video would like me to make suggestions of books that I think you might like then please comment below and I will see what I can come up with. So I did have a couple of people comment on that video and say that they would like to be included so I have thought up some recommendations for those people. I will also say for this video as well that if you see this video and you would like me to recommend books to you please comment below and for the next time that I make a video of this nature I will include you in my recommendations list. I have like I said two people who asked to be recommended and then the rest of the people I have chosen just randomly based on whether or not I think that I have watched them enough that I know the sorts of videos that they like um, and also whether I have similar enough taste that I think that I can recommend books to them. So like I did say in my previous video I'm not 100% sure whether all of these people are subscribed or regular viewers of my channel so I'll do my best to make sure that they know that I have made a video in which I recommend books to them but we'll just see how we go with that one. <laughs> so Without further ado, let's start off with the first person that I would like to recommend a book to, and that person is Kat from Brews and Reviews. So Kat, today I would like to recommend to you The Lies of Loch Lamora by Scott Lynch. Believe it or not, I actually wrote this list about two or three months ago, but I haven't yet managed to kind of find time in the schedule to put this particular video in. So... The reason I'm saying all that for anyone who isn't Kat and who hasn't watched her videos, Kat did a video, I'm not sure exactly when, but a little while ago saying that she had a number of books that she'd like to get to relatively soon and one of those was The Lies of Loch Lamora by Scott Lynch. Part of the reason why she was really keen is because she knew that I really enjoyed it and had recommended that people read it. When I watched that video I had a little chuckle to myself because I knew that I had put Kat and this book on this list but obviously I hadn't filmed it or put it up yet. Anyway suffice to say I decided that I would keep it on the list because yes you're absolutely correct Kat you should definitely read The Lies of Loch Lamora. It is a fantastic book and I think that you would really really enjoy it because I know that you really enjoy high fantasy I know that you also really really enjoy sort of grim dark fantasy and there are definitely elements in this book that I think are both grim and dark. I don't think the book itself necessarily technically comes under the banner of grim dark fantasy but there are certainly elements of grim dark in the book. The other reason is because I have heard it by a number of different people being described as similar to Six of Crows by Leigh Bardugo. Now I haven't read Six of Crows yet, but I know that you love Lee Bardugo, you love the Grishaverse, and you love Six of Crows. So I think that you'd really enjoy this book, and I think that you should read this book. So there you go. Cat, that is the book that I'm recommending to you. The next person that I would like to recommend a book to is Bianca from Binks Thinks. Now I came across Bianca's channel because she commented on this, on my previous video saying this is such a cool idea please include me in the next one. So I subscribed to her channel and I have included her in this one. So Bianca I've watched quite a few of your videos now and I think that the book that you would really really like is Rachel's Holiday by Marion Keys. This book is technically the second book in a series. It is the Walsh family series and I think that they're kind of more technically companion novels than they are series per se. They do follow a timeline so there are events that happen to the first sister that is occasionally referred to in this book but it really isn't important to the story of Rachel's Holiday and you can definitely still really really enjoy it. It's my favourite of the Welsh sisters 
Walsh Sisters series and I do think that you would really really enjoy it. The reason I say this is because it is an adult contemporary novel. It comes under the banner of sort of chick lit and I've noticed that you do seem to really enjoy those sorts of books. I know that you like Leanne Moriarty and I think Marianne Keys is similar in some ways to me Leanne Moriarty. Similar in the way that she writes characters and similar in the way that she writes books that appear to be that sort of chick lit feel good just slice of life type of books but have another thing going on in this particular book it is about mental health um, and addiction and yeah I just think that you'd really really enjoy it so I would really like to recommend that you read Rachel Holiday's by Marion Keys. The next person that I would like to recommend a book to is Cece from Cece's Reading Journey. Cece is another person who commented on my previous video and said please suggest a book to me and so that is what I'm going to try and do today. I know that Cece has been trying in the last sort of well probably for ages but I've noticed in the last year or so she's really been trying to sort of branch out broaden her horizons a little bit and also educate herself in different cultures and different uh, history and different things that are going on in the world. So as such Cece the book that I would like to recommend to you today is Dark Emu by, by Bruce Pascoe. So this book is a sort of alternative history to Australia, to Indigenous Australia pre-colonisation, looking at how the colonizers have altered some of the information that they knew or found out about Aboriginal Australians before the first settlers came along and how the interaction between Aboriginal Australians and the first settlers, how that has changed Australia in such profound ways that we have lost a lot of the information and the history that we now no longer know as a result of, like I said, of col colonialism. And I just think that it's really, really interesting. I have to admit that I'm only halfway through it. Well, probably three quarters of the way through it but that's simply because of timing of books and TBRs and all of that sort of thing but I do think that you would really enjoy this book I think you'd find it really really interesting um, and that is why I'd like to suggest to you CC that you read Dark Emu by Bruce Pascoe. The next person that I would like to recommend a book to is Jean from Jean's Bookish Thoughts. So Jean I know that you are a huge, huge fantasy lover. I know that you love fantasy in all categories and forms, whether that be middle grade, young adult, high fantasy, urban fantasy, whatever it might be. So the book that I would like to recommend to you is Otili Coulter and the Narrow Way Hunt by Rhiannon Williams. Now I have to admit that this is not a book that I've actually read yet myself, but it looks absolutely amazing. It is a middle grade fantasy. I believe that it takes place in Australia or at least a world that is very similar to Australia. It is about a young girl whose brother has gone missing and she has to go and try and find him and she's sort of thrust into this adventure at another world there are magical beings it seems like it's going to be really fun really wholesome and just a really great time and I really think that you would really really enjoy this book it seems like the kind of book that you would really really love so Jean I would like to recommend to you Attilia Coulter and the Narrower Hunt by Rhiannon Williams the next person that I would like to recommend a book to is Cat from Stars and Embers Cat I would like to recommend to you Assassin's Apprentice by Robin Hobb. This is very slightly out of your normal reading but I think that you would really really enjoy it. Kat, I know that you read a lot of young adult fantasy and some of those are romance fantasies. I think that you'd really really enjoy Assassin's Apprentice because although it is an adult fantasy this particular book deals with the main character Fitz as he is a young boy growing up into a young man. So we do have a lot of young adult themes and 
uh, growth throughout the story but it's also just a really brilliant character study and I know that you do enjoy your characters. Fitz is a bit of a flawed young man but he's a great character and Robin Hobb writes the books beautifully. They are such lovely writing and yeah I just think that you would really enjoy it. It has a lot of elements like I said that are similar to young adult. I just think you'd really enjoy it and I would love to recommend to you Assassin's Apprentice by Robin Hobb. The next person that I would like to recommend a book to is Kaz from Cats and Camera. So Kaz, the book that I'm recommending to you today is Kindred by Octavia E. Butler. I sort of assumed that you may already have read this one but if you haven't I definitely think that you would really enjoy it and that you should read this one. So the reason that I'm suggesting this to you Kaz is because I know that you love magical realism, fabulism, things with a little bit of a sci-fi kind of element. I know that you like darker hard-hitting contemporaries and I think that this one falls into those sorts of categories really really well. It is a historical fiction but it has a time travel element and setup to it but it's also looking at things to do with slavery things to do with racism and I just think that you would really get a lot out of it and that you would really really enjoy the way that the character is explored the way that the setup is explored and the comments that it is making about American society and society in general as well as just really enjoy the storyline and the characters like I said. So Kaz the book that I would like to recommend to you is Kindred by Octavia E. Butler. Next up is Mo from Paperback Mo. So Mo the book that I would like to recommend to you today is the Interrogation of a Sharla Wolf by Amberlynn Quaymelina. The reason that I'm recommending this book to you is because one of your favourite books is Wool and I've totally forgotten who wrote the book but I know that you know <laughs> who I'm talking about. This as far as I'm aware is a young adult dystopian as you can probably tell, I've not actually read Wool, but I have read The Interrogation of a Charlotte Wolf, and it is also a young adult dystopian science fiction kind of novel. I really, really enjoyed this one. I thought that it was incredibly well written. It is a slightly different writing style in that we are kind of looking back. Um, so it seems almost like it is exposition, but it's not written in that kind of way and so it's actually really really interesting. Like I said I really really enjoyed it. We follow the young woman Ashala and she is living in a post-apocalyptic dystopian world which is not explicitly said that it is Australia but it is very much based on Australia and so the world in which they live is very similar to Australia in outback landscape etc. Yeah like I said I just think that you would really enjoy it. I know that you do enjoy a good dystopian young adult so I would like to recommend to you today Mo The Interrogation of a Shallow Wolf by Amberlynn Quaymelina. The next person that I would like to recommend a book to is Lana from Law and Lullabies. Lana I know that you will not be even a little bit surprised when I recommend House of Earth and Blood which is the first book in the Crescent City series by Sarah J Mass. I'm recommending this to you because as you know Sarah J Mass has become one of my favourite authors this year and I loved Crescent City when I read it earlier this year but also I think that you would really really like it. I know that you love fantasy, I know that you love fantasy romance, I know that you love paranormal romance and I really think that you would enjoy it for those reasons. It is a urban fantasy that is set in another world if that makes any sense and it features a romance and yeah I just thought it was really fun, really well written and I really think that you would enjoy it because of all of those elements. So Lana the book that I'm suggesting to you today is House of Earth and Blood Crescent City. I do kind of have an honourable mention at the end of this video because when I posted the original video Robbie from And His Nose Stuck in a Book also said that he would like me to suggest a book to him but he then took a break for Lent and he doesn't appear to have come back to the book to net sphere in general. However, Robbie, if you 
are still watching booktube and you are still watching my content then i'm going to still honor that request and suggest a book to you and that book is sabriel by garth nix now the reason i'm recommending this book to you robbie is because i know that you really really love young adult fantasy this is one of my favorite young adult fantasies it is written by an australian author i think they're fairly well known but i don't know whether or not you have heard of them because being australian i might have a slightly skewed view of what is or is not well known when it comes to australian authors this is a book uh where we follow sabriel who is from the old kingdom which is a kingdom full of magic but she lives in the new kingdom which i'm not sure if that's what they technically call it but that's what i'm going to go with where it is not does not have magic but has technology instead and when her father the abortion dies she has to go back into the old kingdom and take up his position as abortion now an abortion is a person who is in charge of the dead and they do necromancy but it's kind of in reverse so they have to kind of keep a lid on the dead make sure the dead aren't trying to cross back over stopping that when they do try i think it's really well written i really really enjoyed it and i do think that you would really really enjoy it yourself so robbie to you i I'm recommending Sabriel by Garth Nix. So those are all the people that I would like to recommend a book to today. I really hope that all of the people I've mentioned in this video will appreciate the books that I've recommended and that they'll like them when and if they get around to reading them. If you would like me to recommend a book to you please comment below and i will do that in the next video whenever i happen to get around to making that anyway that's it from me today guys please do comment below like i said if you would like me to include you in the next one or if you have an opinion about any of the books that i have recommended today whether you like them or whether you don't or if you have an alternative book that you think any of these people would enjoy please do comment below and let me and them know if you would like to leave a comment but you don't know what then i would absolutely love it if you would leave we have a lot of fantasy in this one so let's go ahead and leave something fantastical so whether it be a vampire unicorn a mermaid something like that all of my social media details are in the description below so if you'd like to go and follow me on any of those platforms please feel free to do so thank you so much for watching i really do hope you enjoyed this video if you did i would absolutely love it if you would subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up and yeah like i said thank you so much for watching i really do hope you enjoy this video and i will see you next time Bye.